What it is, what it do, cyber world. It is your girl, the one and only Ash Said It. Ash Said It.com. Ash Said It.com. Welcome back to the Ash Said It Daily Podcast Show. I love you guys. I appreciate all the support and all the love from all the downloads on the global scale. We appreciate you guys each and every day. And you know that I always got to bring some new flavor to the mix. And you know, I got to bring some positivity and some stuff that maybe you're not aware of. I have the multi talented Dennis L.A. White with me. Dennis, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me on your show. Thank you for being a part of it. Now, you guys may know Dennis from some of his work, which is not any small stuff. You know, he's been on the TV show Atlanta, Parenthood, The Closer, and, uh, yeah, this movie called Notorious. (laughs) So his name is definitely not something that is small in the industry, and he's definitely a tycoon in it. But, Dennis, let our audience know, where are you from? Where do you represent? I was originally born in San Bernardino, California. Uh, grew up in Fairfield, Northern California. I'm a military brat, so mm. we moved around a lot. Um, but I finished high school in Fayetteville, North Carolina, Vietnam. Um, and so that's where my parents still live. That's where I brought home. Um, I went to college and went to Fayetteville State University um, in, in North Carolina as well. So that's, you know, North Carolina is, is my, 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 where my roots are. That's where I really got started in doing a lot of um, the foregrounds of my career, living in, in, in the Carolinas. Absolutely. So where did this passion for acting come from? You know what? It was always there. You know, growing up, I was either playing sports or entertaining. My mom um, is a musician and a gospel writer, so I was always performing. I was always singing at, at events, um, doing poetry, doing Black History Month, um, doing plays in school. Like, I was always involved in it. It wasn't something that my parents forced me into it. It was something that I just loved to do, and I was good at it. So, you know, it's funny when you um, when you get older and you see people that knew you when you were young, and they always said, like, yo, you always was acting. You was always performing. <laughs> um, you were, you know, I, I ran into someone that I went to elementary school with in, in Fairfield, Dover Elementary, and she was like, oh, I'm, I'm not surprised. You were the lead in the plays at mm-hmm. school all the time. I'm like, I was? I don't even remember that. <laughs> but it just showed that it was something <laughs> that was embedded in me. And so um, and when, I, when I moved to North Carolina, I was doing any play that came into the area, you know, from the regional theater to – to the hood plays, to the spiritual plays, to anything that I heard about, I was involved in it. And, and while I was still in school, while I was playing varsity baseball, basketball, and having a job, like I was like a Jamaican back in the day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm still the same way, but just, just you know, um, the verses find my intention and, and opening myself to a lot of different things. Um, and the music was definitely a part of it. You know, I started touring uh, with a uh, gospel artist named Don P. Key. So I toured him on, on one of his tours and learned a lot from that situation. And I had a, a R&B group, um, R&B rap group called Black and Mild that we, we toured with. Uh, when Rick James came back for his reunion tour with like the young kids on tour with him. Wow. And then I did my so <laughs> yeah, it's <was> crazy. <laughs> beginning to kind of shift for you as far as where your efforts and energy were going. 
what were some of the challenges that you faced? You know, it's funny you said that. I, I talk about it all the time. Um, the challenges on the journey is, is constant and it's ever present mm -hmm. and it's never going to go away. There's always something that's going to be challenging for, for you. Mm -hmm. You know, I, as close as in my, my household, my father was like, I mean, when are you going to give this up? Mm -hmm. Why don't you just go, you know, go back to school and get, get you a doctor? Or why don't you go into the military? Like, you know, my mm -hmm. dad wasn't a supportive verbally. Right. But every time I had a show in the area, he'd be there. So that could have been discouraging. Um, when I was doing my music, you know, my executive producer, he, he died, you know, oh, wow. in the midst of our, our, our um, before we signed to Sony. Like, it was, you know, I, I've had a lot of different things that happened yeah. that made it challenging. Um, but I always knew that this, that my past, and there was no plan B. I knew I wasn't going to, you know, stop performing and work at, at Walmart. Yeah. Like, I know it wasn't going to be that, you know. <laughs> Um, and no, no disrespect to Walmart. I love no. Walmart. Yeah. But that's not <laughs> that's not what I was gonna do. Right. So, um, just understanding that those no's doesn't mean that you can't do it. It just means that you can't do it right, right. now. Mm. And that. so um, I just kept pushing. Yeah, you got to keep pushing. So let's talk about act like you know. What is that all about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> In 2008, 2009, um, I was getting bombarded by aspiring actors, you know, people that have done work or are trying to get into the business, just asking me a plethora of questions about the entertainment field. And it was, you know, they would call me on the phone for hours, and I was just giving them all this information uh, because starting out, I mean, I've, I've been. Um, and a TV series like Spike Lee, I did mm -hmm. a TV series, series regular with him. Um, I've been an extra, I've been a stunt double, 50 Cent. I've done uh, all different types of work, mm -hmm. uh, professional assistant, PA, I did everything. So I had a lot of knowledge. And so when I was getting bombarded by it, I was like, well, let me, let me do a workshop and see, you know, try and make some mm -hmm. bread and see if it'll, people come out. And I, I didn't really charge a lot, and it was packed out. Wow. And people really wanted that knowledge, mm -hmm. and so I said, "Okay, this could be something." And so I started. I, I started doing. This was I was in New York, and it started getting bigger. And you know, then I moved to LA, and it started getting bigger. Mm -hmm. And um, I see what one of the biggest uh, flaws in the entertainment field is that the knowledge that is gained um, or required isn't given to the aspiring mm -hmm. actors. Yeah, they're they're not giving that that um, the principles that make you a viable actor, mm -hmm. the steps that take that take to get there. So you don't you're you don't you're missing steps, and so you're still staying in that rut, and then you assume that you can't act or it's not for you, and you do something else instead of knowing that. Well, the reason why you're not getting an audition because your headshot is not industry standard, or because your resume is not industry standard. So I teach the the, the business of it. The, the process of it, and also, of course, you know, getting your acting to industry level. Yeah. But, you know, so I've, I've been giving act classes and workshops pretty much since 2000, almost two years now. That's crazy. Wow. Um, but, you know, and I, I evolved to, you know, coaching celebrities um, on a one on one basis, and I do private coaching with, with you know, certain people who are interested in doing private classes. And, you know, I love to see my, my students work. And, yeah. You know, my thing is, if you come in and take a, a class or a workshop from me and you're not working, then then I'm not the one for you or you're not ready for it. Yeah. You know, I'm not here for you to take classes from me for 10 years. Yeah, no. And not get a job. I want you to work. Yeah, that's the whole purpose of it. And... Uh, I've also had a lot of background jobs and working kind of behind the scenes with things. So I also have a fair amount of knowledge as well. And I do get people that approach me and ask me about stuff. And the number one thing that I try to just delve into them and, and really plant the seed is you've got to put in the work. 
you know, it's yeah. not, oh, well, I did two auditions last week, and I think I got one of them, so I'm I'm going to quit my job and, you know, just go. Let's be yeah. smart. Let's be strategic in yeah. every move that sure. you make um, and understanding that it's yeah. it's a craft like anything else. Yeah, the glitz and the glamour is, oh, yeah, you on a movie screen, you're on television, and that's wonderful, but understanding that the work that comes from, you know, from behind the scenes, you know, they don't see you you know, spending your last dime to get those headshots done or, you know, spending yeah, hours you know, on it. Chris Rock said it. Yeah. Chris Rock said the best. He was like, once I do a movie, I'm unemployed again. Yeah. But now i got to find another job. Mm -hmm. And that's how it is. You know, it's it's, a, it's ebbs and flows. And I tell people, um, if you think about the audition process, they look at it as working at McDonald's to where every time you drop a load of fries, mm you don't get paid. Yeah. So you drop all the load of fries for the whole week and then you get paid at the end of the week. Well, that's how it is with acting. You yeah. go on five auditions, 10 auditions, and you don't book, but that 11th audition pays for the 10 that you auditioned for previously. Mm -mm. True enough. So the ABCs of acting, that begins this coming week, July the 10th, Let's talk about that. that. Did that also stem from Act Like You Know? Yes, okay. yes. It is, it's a leg of Act Like You Know. Um, just giving actors another step above um, other acting classes and other situations where not only do you get to come and learn the basics and, and the, the tools necessary to become a, a better actor, but also you get college credits. So hmm. you get 12 credits. Um, to use however you want to use it, you know. Yeah. But that's, you know, that's very beneficial to where it's not just you coming to a class and you leave empty-handed. It's like, I, I got, gave some college credits from this, and I learned. Wow. So I'm, I'm excited about it. You know, it's still registration still going on, so, you know, we still are open to more students, you know. But I think it's going to be a really great thing for students to, to participate in. Absolutely. And kudos uh, to you guys for doing that because I, I don't I, you don't hear too many acting courses, workshops that actually give college credit. So that's that's amazing. No. That is that is amazing that you guys could actually pull that off. So where's what is the best way, Dennis, for people to get in contact with you guys if they want to sign up for the workshop? Um, you can go to actlikeyouknow.org okay. and you can register straight from the website. Okay, cool, cool beans. And, you know, my social media is at Dennis L. A. White. That's on from Facebook to Twitter to Instagram, um, Snapchat, all that is the same. Gotcha, gotcha. And last but certainly not least, Dennis, what advice can you offer to any up-and-coming actor that is brand new on the scene and they don't really know where to go? Uh, the advice is go to my website, go <laughs> <laughs> that board, and give you some classes, and I can show you where to go. I love it. I love that part. Um, that is the number one advice. The second advice is to stay focused mm. and worry about don't chase the money, you chase the dream. Mm. And if you're chasing the dream, the money will come. If you, you know, the success will come. Um, and it's it's a sprint. Not, I mean, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. you got to stay in this. Robert Nero says it takes 10 years mm. for you to make it in this entertainment field. Yeah. So, you know, stay in the course. Absolutely. And Dennis, uh, outside of all these acting courses and things that you're trying to do to help your, your fellow colleagues, where can people see you next? What what are the TV shows and things you got lined up? Oh, man. <laughs> so uh, I got a movie called Secrets and that's coming out on BET. Uh -huh. um, that's coming out in August. Uh, it's a real, it's a, it's a great film. Uh, it's going to be on BET. I have a movie called Thank You for Your Service that comes out uh, October 27th in theaters. Uh, it's about PTSD. Mm -hmm. um, I'm shooting a film called Vault that I'm co-producing on. Um, that's a, like, it's, it's really crazy. So look out for for Vault. I'm directing a film called Say No More um, in August as well. Um, so 
I'm just staying busy, you know, my, my publicist, Cartier, and my management, uh, Jerome, JW, uh, Mastermind, they keep me busy for real, for real. That's good. Cartier Thomas. Uh, so I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm everywhere, you know, I'm just out here really living my dream and really trying to do everything as far as entertainment wise. Absolutely. And I have an artist named Anthem Brown that I'm, that I'm managing too, a dope um, um, singer. So I'm just, I'm the first to find my bond, you know? Hey, for sure, for sure. Got to jump into it. Now, Dennis, are you sure you're not Jamaican? Because you, you, you got a lot of titles now. I'm kind of feeling like, you know, we probably cousins, you know what I'm saying, with that West Indian background. I'm like, okay, see, we might we might can be cousins because I got like 50 11 jobs too. So <laughs> I'm playing hey, with you. Know, it. I, I need, maybe I need to ask my mom if my dad really my dad. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we're going to start but, up no trouble. Know, I think about, I think, yeah, I don't want to start no trouble. Uh, but I think I look at those foundation you know you think of puffy yeah who he only sleeps four hours yeah. you know jay-z barely sleep you know those that are billion close to being billionaires and what what are their work ethic yeah. why am i not close to that you know relaxing you yeah. know i should be working harder you yeah. know so that's that's my thought process if yeah. i want to reach their level or even close to their level then i need to work almost just as hard or twice as hard to get there. Yeah. So that's that's the goal. You know, being around Puff a lot, you know. Yeah. This guy, he does everything. He's, he's grinding. He's a steady grinder. And he doesn't have to. He can retire right now. Yeah. He's not doing another job. And his kids, kids, kids will be, be millionaires. Sad. Yeah. But it's not enough for him. Mm-mm. And it shouldn't be. And I, I want other people to, to have that open mind of thinking there's got to be more to life than just what is there aspire to be more yeah. why wouldn't you you've got time mm-hmm. as long as you've got air in your lungs yeah. you might as well mm-hmm. you might as well sure, so for sure for sure dennis thank you so much it's been a pleasure um you're welcome back whenever you got stuff to announce whenever that is you let me know hey and don't, it, hey, hey 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 don't say that if you don't mean it oh i mean it for sure I'm, I'm i ain't like, oh, i ain't playing <laughs> And you don't say you're going to be down here in the A-Town because, you know, I'm here in Atlanta as well. So you let me know okay, that's what's up. when stuff is popping off. And I, I definitely will be there to show support. You know, we got to show love to one another. And, and next time, next time we'll set it up and we'll do a face-to-face and everything. Yeah. that Hey, let's get it. <laughs> let's get it. Thank you so much, Dennis. And thank you to each and every one of you guys that tune into the show on a daily basis. I appreciate you guys. We've got over a quarter of a million streams worldwide. Hua. Let's get that. And keep in mind, anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do, you look them square in the face and tell them, don't believe me, just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. Because that's what we're doing this for. We're doing this for the history book. Social media is nice. It's cool. It's fun. It keeps us entertained. But real life is so much better. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Deuces.